Hello, Seattle Public Schools instrumental music students. My name is Alex Dugdale, and I teach at Wedgwood Elementary, Green Lake Elementary, Madrona Elementary, West Seattle Elementary, Stanislo Elementary, BF Day Elementary, and Queen Anne Elementary. Today, we're going to be talking about our clarinet and working on finger fluidity and precision. For this lesson, you'll need to get your instrument together. Don't forget your read. I'll give you a few seconds to get that together. Welcome back. Hopefully your instruments are put together. Make sure that the tip of your reed is just below the tip of the mouthpiece here. Before we play a note, we need to warm up with a couple of breathing exercises. Just as though, uh, or just as if an athlete is going to stretch before they do their practice, we also must practice breathing. So please breathe with me in, and out, and in, and out. One more time, and in, and out. Great. For our warm up, I would like to start with an open G. Remember, no fingers. And we're going to hold this note for about eight seconds. One, two, ready, and. And again. One, two, three, four. You can do this as many times as you like when you're practicing on your own. For now, we're gonna move down to the next note, F, which is played with just our thumb on the back hole here. One, two, three, four. And again, two, three, four. And now moving down to E, played with the thumb and the first finger. One, two, three, and. Again, two, three, four. Add the next finger down on your left hand and you get the note D. Okay, we're gonna do that one a couple of times. One, two, three, four. Again, two, three, four. C, add the third and final finger. C, one, two, three, four. And again, two, three, four. Great warm up. Remember, when you're practicing on your own, you can play those notes as many times as you want until you feel that you are perfectly warmed up and ready to go. Now on to the lesson. Being woodwind instruments, we have a lot of buttons that use a lot of our fingers, and we need to be able to move those fingers very fast. <laughs>
The way we work on that is by building up finger fluidity and precision, isolating and working on the movement of one, two, three, four fingers, or even all five at one time. The first thing that we're going to do is start on the note C and play from C to D. And then we'll go C, D, C. Ready? And then we'll repeat this over and over. And then we'll repeat it a little bit faster. even faster still. How was that? Why don't you take a few minutes and try this on your own? Welcome back. Now we are going to play from C to E. C being one, two, three, plus our thumb, two, thumb and first finger for E. C to E, C to E, C to E. a little bit faster. And even faster still. to remember about our finger placement as we keep lifting up more and more fingers is to keep our fingers curved so that they can go exactly in the same spot covering the holes as they need to be. That way we avoid things like this. So make sure that we keep our fingers nice and curved and not to lift them too high. Why don't you go ahead and practice C to E by yourself? And now, you've guessed it, C to F. All of our fingers down to just the thumb. C to F. C to F. C to F. C to F. a little 
bit faster. And you guessed it, even faster still. That got pretty fast. Why don't you see if you can get that fast with me on your own? And now the very last one, C to G. Before we play it, I would like to point out that I am not using my tongue. I am doing what's called slurring, which is when I don't use my tongue to play between the different notes. There is no tongue, just my air and my fingers. Now, C, all the fingers down to G. No fingers at all. C to G, C to G. Remember, keep your hands curled, keep your fingers curled, and closer to the clarinet. A little bit faster now. And now, even faster. Now, it's your turn. My, look how the time flies. Our lesson is almost over. I want to say thank you for making music with me today. I know that I miss all of my students, and I know for sure all of my other EIM teachers and colleagues miss their students as well. I'm going to send you off with a little joke here, little music joke. What do you call two bees, a hornet, and a wasp playing violins, a sting quartet. Have a great break, keep practicing, and we'll see you next time.